Well, hello there, folks, and happy Saturday to you. And it is Saturday. I got that wrong last week. I actually said Thursday. And so many of you in the comments said it's actually Saturday. So, yes, it's definitely Saturday. So thanks for coming back just to see what I got for the family food shop this week. And as you can see, we've gone back to Aldi because, yeah, you can get so much stuff in Aldi. But there's always a few things we can't get in Aldi. So I've gone to Tesco as well, just for the few bits and bobs that I couldn't get in Aldi. And also, I hope that I find you very well indeed and you're all having a great week so far so as usual I'll just run you through everything that I got and I was just under £90 for this and that's my receipt from Aldi there and I'll give you a quick look at the Tesco receipt as well. I do still have to go to the local butcher so I'll be around about £20-£25 in there as well just to add onto the top. So I picked up a few bananas. We haven't been eating many bananas recently and needed one butter as well. I've still got loads of butter there from last week. I needed some shaved parmesan and I was looking for the powdered parmesan as well. They didn't have any so I just picked up the grano padano which is more or less the same and then I need some double cream as well and then just one yogurt. This is the larger pot of the mango papaya and passion fruit as well. We get this more or less every week. It is really nice and then a couple of watermelons as well. I think those have taken place of the bananas and then a cauliflower as well. And I'll probably turn this into cauliflower cheese, knowing me. And then a pack of the baby plum tomatoes. I'm going to be doing Tuscan chicken pasta. And I think I'll be filming that for the channel. And then a punnet of tomatoes as well. The, the bag had burst. That's why there's no bag on there. And then a four pack of the Brayburn apples, just for a change from the usual pink ladies. And then Tesco for an iceberg. Aldi didn't have any individual lettuces. It was all just, you know, salad bag so I just wanted the one lettuce some chestnut mushrooms for the Tuscan chicken and then a lovely big swede as well these are all the same price so I try and find the biggest one that I can find because it's just we love it and then a parsley plant as well and I thought this one looked particularly nice it's lovely and green and this will go on everything going forward for the next week or so a three pack of red onions and then a jar of pickled onions as well I love these and this is my favorite brand of pickled onions. They're very similar to the chip shop pickled onions that you'll find in the chip shops. And then some jalapenos as well. Picked up a few soups, so the pea and ham and also the lentil and bacon were the same price. And then, yeah, the, there's a more premium one, I guess, which was a wee bit dearer, but this one looks lovely. So chicken and tarragon, which I think go lovely together. And then some jam and then one wee lonely lemon just for fish and chips that we're going to be having. And it always amuses me, you know, the size of the sticker for the one lemon. And then a big bag of our usual tatties, a few cans of tuna steak and brine. And these are the no drain or they're very little liquid in there so you don't have to faff about with draining too much. And then a four pack of the sweet corn was out of that and I'm going to be doing a chocolate orange tray bake. So I picked up this and this is the sun dried tomatoes for the tuna, I was going to say tuna pasta bake for the Tuscan chicken pasta bake. Some penny pasta and some basmati rice as well. I was just about out of this. And then one cayenne pepper just for me. I love cayenne pepper, as most of you will know by now. Adds heat without adding a great deal of flavour. For the chocolate orange tray bake that I'm going to be doing, I needed some condensed milk and then some drinking chocolate as well. We run out of this quite frequently. And then some smoked ham as well, or sorry, honey, honey roast ham for some salad rolls. We're going to be having some lemon squash and this is fantastic value. It's one and a half litres. I got the Robinson's lemon squash last week and this one is much nicer. It's not as sharp and it tastes a wee bit sweeter, although there's no added sugar and we just love it. Some cooking salt and this is for the chocolate orange tray bake that I'm going to be doing. So one Terry's chocolate orange. I don't think you can get better, you know, chocolate orange than Terry's. They are the original and probably the best. I needed some buttons as well. These are the orange 
chocolate buttons and then some wee minis just to decorate the top of the min chocolate, sorry, chocolate orange tray bake. <laughs> some of these mega white buttons as well, just to melt and put in the top. Some digestives and then some golden wonder, ready salted crisps. Some more chocolate for the tray bake. And this is half white, half milk. And then some cod fillets. These are the cod fillets and batter. Some hair mousse. And then I picked up some shampoo and conditioner just because this, there was a great deal on this, you know, if you're using your Tesco club card. So a good wee saving on those. And then Jasper snacks as well. So two of the chicken. He prefers the salmon ones, but they are quite hard to find. And then a two pack of kitchen roll and then a couple of packs of wipes. Everything I buy has to be in doubles like this, like the chocolate, the wipes. Does anybody else do that? They get a habit of picking up two instead of the one, even if they just need the one. I tend to pick up two. I don't know why I do that. I've always done that. But yeah, that was everything that we got from Aldi and Tesco this week. Like I said, I do still have the butcher to go to as well for a wee mince round and some chicken breast as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch up with you during the week back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.